Hello, people of YouTube. It is I, your favorite anime commentator of all time, the Crimson Assassin, and I'm going to tell you a little story. A little story about why I watch anime and why do I enjoy these shows. So, it starts back a long time ago, which when I was like five years old and I saw my first ever real anime um, brought to the U.S. It was... I remember exactly what it was. The story is that my grandmother, you know, she didn't even notice it, but she bought me um, a VHS set of Dragon, oh, an anime called Dragon Ball Z. And it was the first ever anime I've watched. And it was the entire VHS collection, because back in the day, DVDs weren't as mainstream as it was now. Um, but I bought, I had all these VHS tapes of the anime Dragon Ball Z. And, um, I remember the saga. The saga was the Frieza saga. It was the entire collection of the Frieza saga from start to finish. And I remember, you know, taking the entire box home. And, uh, me and my brother, um, had a, v he had a VHS in his room. And, uh, we, we saw the entire Dragon Ball Z series um, the, of the Frieza saga together. And I remember the first time I saw... I saw it because I was blown away. Uh, I was I was only five years old at the time. Everything blew my fucking mind. So, but I really enjoyed Dragon Ball Z. Then later on in the future, um, one of my friend's cousins uh, showed me the anime Inuyasha, and then I started getting into that, which you know opened the doorway and gateway to an anime. Now th I didn't know what anime was until I hit about sixth grade and you know and then I started got really into it by seventh grade so when I hit sixth grade because throughout my middle school days I was being we, we've all been there we've all been bullied we all been picked on you know it, it, it's no surprise that you would see me get bullied or hear me get bullied and picked on because I was I was basically bullied and picked on ever since I was in freaking pre-k I'm not even kidding you I was bullied ever since you know, I, I stepped into that school, like, it was fucking bananas, and just looking back at it, you know, if it wasn't to them, I would have never find the greatest hobby of my life, so, I remember, you know, having, like, the meanest teachers ever, the worst students ever in my class, and I decided to go back to an uh, anime that I'm a huge fan of to this day, Naruto. And I remember like, it was like, I want to say, like, towards the end of my sixth grade, all right, like, midway through June. And I started rewatching Naruto again. And I'm like, yeah, now, now I'm getting back into things because, like, Naruto was, like, the, act, like, the second anime I've ever watched. Like, it wasn't Inuyasha, the second anime. It was, um, it was first Dragon Ball Z, then Naruto, then Inuyasha. So then... I started, you know, branching out and watching even more animes. I started watching animes on Toonami, remember that? Um, every every time, every Saturday, every Saturday night, um, it'll show Toonami on Cartoon Network. So every day or every night, I would stay up and I'll watch um, reruns of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, you know, I call them new episodes, but new episodes of Naruto. Um, I started branching out and watching... Animes like One Piece, uh, Zatch Bell that was on, The Prince of Tennis. Uh, trying to think of a few more that was on Toonami. Uh, Inuyasha. I didn't, uh, not Bleach. I didn't start watching Bleach until uh, I hit 7th grade. Um, but yeah, I got hooked on Bleach too. Uh, I, I really enjoyed Bleach. Bleach was really good. Um... You know, just besides all the filler. But, yeah, I remember basically, but if it wasn't for really Naruto and Dragon Ball Z, I would have never gotten into the the greatest hobby that I've ever been in my life. Because it, it made such an impact to me. Especially playing, you know, seeing this man. If it was never for this man right here, Naruto... I'm telling you, man, I was so down in the dumps, okay, because I was like, I was, I was five years old, being picked on and bullied, you know, and teachers didn't really do
do anything to help me at the time. Because all they said was, oh, ignore them, but I was five years old. I didn't know how to ignore them. So I kept, you know, getting into my head and stuff, you know, and shit just got crazy and out of control at, to one point. And, um, you know, I was basically like a social outcast. Like, you know, I was like the guy that absolutely no one cared about, not not even to say hello or goodbye or anything like that. Like, I would go, I was to go up and say hi to someone and they wouldn't even say hi back. Like, it was... I was really I was really lonely um, through my middle school days, and um, you know it did kind of hurt. It did hurt. You know I did actually get to meet a few friends, but they either end up moving or they stopped being my friends completely, and um, you know it kind of hurt because well I had friends that I thought were my friends, but then they turned on me. You know I. I thought I was close friends with this guy, but then he left um, to yeah, to like to a point where I'm just I felt lonely. Like every day I would go to school, I would just sit there alone. Like no one would talk to me, no one would say hi. I would answer a few problems in math and reading and social studies, but that was just basically it. Like no one even bothered to even give me a second look. I didn't even got to tell the girl that I actually had a crush on that I liked her because, well, my self-esteem was so dropped and so low to a point where I just couldn't talk to anyone in my school. I felt so alone. And, you know, watching Naruto, watching Naruto, I really think about it, and he's been through that situation too. He's been through that same loneliness that I've been through. And if I'm telling him that if it wasn't for Naruto, I would have never realized half the things that really impacted me. And uh, like, because Naruto, he's been through that loneliness. He has been through loneliness. He has been through torment. He has been through bullying, disrespect, and picked on, just like me. So what? So knowing, even though he's only fictional and he's a, you know, character in a anime, he he really you know, taught me a really valued lesson. See, and I feel like every anime I watch has a moral and a value to it, like Bleach, and One Piece, and Naruto, and Dragon Ball Z, and all those shonen animes, you know, because if it wasn't for Naruto and Dragon Ball Z, I would have never gotten to my greatest hobby known to man, and that's watching anime, and reading manga, and playing video games, because I'm, I'm actually a huge gamer. I love games. Like, I could show you my li like my library. And I just said I had Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. I have all the Assassin's Creed except 1 and 2. I have Dead Space 1 and 2, Infamous, Little Big Planet, all the Uncharted games, um, Bioshock, Tales of Symphonia HD, Tales of Exilia HD, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, Okami HD. I, I have a lot of games. And plus the games that my older brother has. He has like Batman, Call of Duty, like all those games. I'm a huge gamer. So, and I'm also a big fan of anime. So if it wasn't for those two things, I would have never gotten into the greatest hobbies of my life. And that's playing games, watching anime, reading manga, you know. And I got to meet, you know, I'm, an, I'm a sophomore in high school now. And I got to meet, um... A lot of friends who are into the same things that I am, man. They're they're into anime, gaming, manga, um, all those stuffs that I just mentioned. And now now that I'm in high school, I have a, I'm having a really different experience with the one I had in middle school. That loneliness, you know, went away because because of what I enjoyed and what I loved. Basically, brought me new friends and. That's like the greatest gift anime has ever given me. It taught me not only morals and values of life, but it also taught me to never be afraid and never to be alone. And that's why I watch anime. I not only watch anime for morals and values about life and stuff, I also watch it for escapism. Because, you know, I was being bullied. I was being picked on. I, need, I needed to find a way how to escape reality, and anime and gaming did that to me. And, um, it, it really, 
touched me there, like, in the heart. And, um, if it wasn't for those two things that I've been mentioning this entire video that I would have never gotten to the greatest thing in my life. And that's why I watch anime for escapism, morals, values, and to possibly in the future meet new friends. And that's basically it. That's why I watch anime because it it really brought morals and again morals and values of my life and you know, if it wasn't for one piece I, it would never taught me listen man think about it one piece teaches you to always follow your dreams naruto teaches you to never give up on your dreams bleach taught me to always fight for what's right in your life you know anime is like uh attack on titan says fight for humanity um anime is like full metal alchemist and uh, Blue Exorcist, and hell, even comedy animes like Heaven's Lost Property, Rosario Plus Vampire, uh, Okami, hell, even that Okami Sonner or Seven Companions, that shitty anime, even though it wasn't shitty, it was actually okay, but I don't want to go into full detail about that anime, but I'm telling you, if it wasn't for into, the, if, it, if it wasn't for, I was into those things, I would have never been where I am in my life, and yeah, sure, I'm not actually otaku you know i don't have posters on my walls and you know mangas everywhere all i have is games you know games games more games um uh, plus, I, plus i have like more games that I, I forgot to mention i got like skyrim dead island holy shit i got just give me a second uh heavy rain spider-man uh, that's basically it. Those are all my games. Uh, I used to have all the Back to the Future episodes that of Telltale, but I'm going into full detail about games that I I was just basically specifying anime. So I watched it for a few things and a few things alone, and that's it. So I hope this you know got to your little answer like, oh, why does this kid watch anime? That's why I watch anime is for escapism, morals, values. And to possibly meet new friends in the future. And thank you for watching this video and taking the time out of your day to listen to this, you know, boring kid's life. Like, yeah, I'm pretty boring. I know. Not a secret. I know I am. Oh, well. See you later, guys.